Hey guys, I just had to give Luna a treat because she was making noise. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be upcycling some old clothes of mine that has been... I've actually just put it away a long time ago. I have a skirt that's a little bit too big. I have this long blouse that I'm going to make shorter so that I can actually use it as blouse instead of this goes like way over my bum so I'm going to sew that shorter as like a blouse and then I have some white blouses that I actually can't remember what's wrong with them they might have a button missing or something so I thought it would be super chill to fix those things while doing a q and A. I I think I have to close that window <laughs> Under here somewhere is my phone and I have been getting a lot of questions on my Instagram that I'm going to take some out and answer them while we upcycle these things. This blouse is a new thing on the webshop. It's so cute. It's a sweater. It also comes in red pinkish tones and I'm going to put a discount code on the screen to 15% off as just like a thank you to you guys for being here on my channel like I'm just I feel all of the emotions these days as if you saw my last video a lot of things has been going on and it's just it's because of you so I just wanted to put that on the screen 15% off um, your order on the web shop so yeah thank you so much for all of the support you always give me it means the world and um, Let's get started upcycling some clothes before I get too emotional. Yeah. So I think I'm going to begin with the green one because it's the one that I've been most excited about actually getting fixed because it's so beautiful. Like look at the detailing. I thrifted this in one of my come thrift with me videos and it also has embroidered details on the back. It's just so beautiful but I never really wear it because it goes down over my bum. And I want it to be more of a blouse that I can put into a pair of pants or a skirt because I always like to incentuate my, my um, waist area because that's my smallest point. I have some, wet, some super wide hips so when I wear stuff like this that's like pretty square fitted and that it goes over my bum I just look very square. So that's why this is now going to be fixed. So I actually need a scissor. I think I'm gonna have to go get a scissor. Like I want it to be here. About like 10 centimeters under the embroidered details. I want it to be cut here. Maybe you wanna grab so yourself something to drink. I have some chocolate milk, of course. So I should just grab my phone and find the first question. Do you have a five year plan or goals set for what you want your future to hold? Um, no. That's a very easy question to answer because I've never been the big like planner and I probably never will be. Um, so that's pretty easy to answer because I don't have certain plans or goals. I'm very, um, <laughs> I look into the near future and now I know that I'm going to open a boutique in a month's time. So that's where my focus is right now, but do I know if I will be in the same spot in five years, like still running the shop? I don't know. It's too hard to answer um, because so much can happen. That's really, I think, one of the biggest lessons I've learned um, throughout my life, my 25 years of living, is that there are so many things that you can't plan. And I think too many plans, too many, I don't know, goals can just be very discouraging sometimes because the chances are that most of them you're not gonna achieve. So I like to just go with the flow and go with my guts every single day. 
and ask myself like maybe once a month if I'm happy with what I'm doing, if I'm happy with the way that I live and if there's something that I'm not happy with, if I'm not well or happy or motivated anymore, then I will look into actually changing up some things. That's very much how I live, so I actually don't know where I'll be in five years. Do you miss your dreadlocks? This always happens when I want to film in the living room. Luna wants to get up and join the fun. But yeah, this question. Um, no, I don't miss my dreadlocks. I sometimes miss the look of them. I sometimes miss how they kind of like added something edgy to my look so that even when wearing something super basic I still had I don't know I still expressed something I guess that's what I want to say while now I just sometimes feel like I've blend in a lot because I just have normal hair now so I think that's what I miss sometimes but I don't think I don't at all miss the weight and the struggle when having to wash it after badminton practice late at night. Yoon, you have been out for a run. You're not gonna get out right now. I know that this looks like fun. It's so weird because she, she's not doing that throughout the day, but it's because I'm sitting here filming with a lot of like equipment. She wants to get out and be a part of the fun. How do you stay in such a good shape? And I also have another question about if I do any sports because I have played some football um, a few years ago, I think it is by now. But yes, I am playing badminton. I've played badminton since the age of seven, I think. So I go to badminton practice twice a week. And then like a few months ago, I also went to the gym over the summer break I had a gym membership and I went to the gym oh that differed a lot I think but some weeks I did manage to go and other weeks I went like three times so um, yeah I guess badminton is the main reason why I'm in a good shape pretty good shape like nothing too crazy but um, yeah that's how I try to stay in shape. The concentration has just been real. It's done. Now it looks like this. Been sewing the edges. Super duper cute. Can't wait to wear that. It's my one of my favorite colors. I just love the embroidery details. Still can't believe that I found this in a thrift shop. So project number one. A success. I think number two is gonna be harder because this I have to sew in so that it fits me. I should have to try it on. There we go. And then it goes over here. So this is how too big it is. It is quite a lot that I have to remove. I am officially an idiot because it has a button here and it is this too, too big for me. So this is the button and if I have to close it here it gets too big. But if I just move the button over there and there's also a button over here and if I just move that a few centimeters then it's gonna fit me. So that was actually a super simple problem. So now I'm just, just going to move the buttons a few centimeters. What makes you happy? That's a very deep and also difficult question, I actually think. Yeah, it's a very interesting question. I think over time, I have realized that one of the things that makes me most excited, most happy about life and like everyday things is being creative. 
um, like creating. That is um, that's a big deal to me. I feel very very happy when I photograph. I feel happy right now when like sewing. Um, I feel really happy when decorating things like my apartment or the new things I'm going to be jumping into which is decorating an entire boutique. I feel very excited about colours and patterns and creative visual things. So I think being creative and expressing myself like that is one of the most important things for me in feeling happy and of course <laughs> um, being around people that I love. How do you manage to be so productive and do so many things in your day? Um, that's a good question. I just, I think it's a mix of a lot of things. One thing is that I like to get things done and that is something I have from my mom. She's also a getting stuff done kind of woman. But also I think when you are self-employed and you have your own business, wanting to get stuff done and wanting to do your very best and like to work as much as possible is just a given. It just happens very naturally because you want to do the best and yeah, you just want to to do your very best for the business to become a success. So I think that has just happened very like naturally. So I think it's a mix of genes <laughs> and um, and motivation. I just really want to do stuff, get stuff done, be productive. But thank you for saying that I'm a productive person. I I like to be. And I like to think that I am. So. And if you're thinking more in like how I schedule my time, I like to make, I actually have a weekly plan. I have a plan that I follow every week. So I have pretty much the same chores. Um, like Monday, every Monday I do, I go through the same things. And every Tuesday, every week I go through pretty much the same things. Um, of course there will always be some extra tasks. Oh. But I actually have a weekly plan that I follow um, so that I'm not gonna um, get behind on too much. And then I also really like to make to-do lists. Uh, there we go. Like sometimes at night before falling asleep I like to just write down on my phone some of the things that I have to get done the next day. In that way, I can just easier, easier say, okay, it's now been written down, I have all of that under control, and then I can easier, easily go to sleep and just know that I have it written down, so I will take care of that tomorrow. So it's a mix of a weekly plan that I follow, like a weekly schedule, and then to-do lists on my phone. I think it's become brighter in here. That's good if the sun is coming up. It's not, it's so grey outside. Let's test it out to see if I have done it correctly. This, oh, that was close to filming my boob. I'm not wearing a bra. This one fits. And this over here, it fits. There we go. How could that take me one and a half years to get done? And I always just have two white shirts or blouses left and I think the issue with them is something with some buttons. This is one of them. You almost can't see that because they're white. Okay, what is wrong with you? Um. I guess I have to try it on then. Ah. Now I know I wanted to remove the shoulder pads. They are very, very easy to see on the shoulder part. So I wanted to remove those. Okay, and with the other one, it is down here at the end of the sleeve. The button is missing. 
So I think I'm gonna try to see if I have any like cream colored buttons. I have this one in which I keep some like mixed ones, but I also have a bunch of like do you ship merchandise from your web shop to the United States? Yes, we ship worldwide. What's your favorite hot beverage? It's definitely hot chocolate. It's definitely. Being a YouTuber and business owner, what is your main source of income? It's neither of those. I have to do some freelance work um, as well on the side because otherwise I couldn't afford paying rent. So besides from doing like YouTube and Instagram and running the web shop, I also work um, for two other businesses. So there is a lot of things to get done every single week, but YouTube and the web shop is definitely not my main income. I make a little bit from YouTube, but um, when it comes to the web shop, I haven't really made anything yet. I got paid. I've been paid like a tiny bit of money from May to now. So um, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely still a lot of work before it that go that's going to be possible. What's your favorite word in English? I think it might be shampoo. I really like the word shampoo. Um, I like how it sounds. I have a huge, this is interesting, I have a huge crush on my co-worker slash friend. Should I tell him how I feel? I know that that can seem like super scary to do so. So I think if it was me, I would begin with finding some situation in which I could text him something and it could be about work if he's someone you work with. It's really hard to say it directly like what you could say because I don't know your exact situa situation but I think I would try to text him something that has something to do with work. It could be a question or something you're wondering or it could be a compliment to him about something and then to see how he's going to answer you because it's actually very easy to see from how people text I think if they are interested or not if he is trying to get the conversation to keep going or if he is sending back a very short like one worded answer or if he's also like taking part in the conversation I think it can be very like not super easy of course but it can actually sometimes show if people are interested or not and also just by you texting him is should be kind of a cue to him I think that he should know that maybe you find him interesting so I would do that I would text him something that has something to do with something something that you're both part of and then I would see how he was going to apply to that um, because I would myself find it way too scary to actually tell him how I feel just like out of nowhere without you guys having even like talked so that's what I would do if anyone else has um, an idea or something then comment down below any plans for Christmas and New Year's I actually don't think I've mentioned this on my channel before because I don't feel like it's my it's mine to tell but my brother is actually having a kit in the beginning of December him and his girlfriend Matilda they're having a boy so Christmas is going to be so different this year and also with me opening a boutique in the city center that's also going to take up so much of my time and my focus so from November of this year is going to be very weird, like the end of the year is going to be quite different and a lot of things are gonna happen. It's going to be both exciting but also a bit crazy. Uh, so yeah, my brother is having a kit and I am so excited about it. Oh, I still remember the night that they told um, the rest of us, we were at family dinner at my mom's and we had 
been eating and everything. And then my brother went out to get something from his coat. He came back into the living room and then he put some, like a small envelope on my mom's plate. Um, like just a tiny one. And we all kind of like, well, what's that? And my mom opened it up and then she was like, she got really quiet. And I kept looking at her and saying, what is it? What does it say? And she just didn't answer me. And then I took it from her and I read it. It was like um, an invitation to come and see him after his birth. Yeah crazy we were all so shocked and we all talked about afterwards that we thought it was an invitation for like a wedding <laughs> but none of us has, had ever thought that this year was going to be the year where a child was going to be added to the family so yeah i'm going to be an aunt at the end of this year i'm going to be an aunt and we're going to have a little baby. A little baby in the family. So a lot of interesting things are happening at the end of this year. It's going to be absolutely crazy. And also it's going to be weird because over the last five years I've been celebrating New Year's Eve with my brother. But since he's going to have a newborn baby, he's probably not going to be celebrating. I think they'll just have like a chill night at home. Um, so it's going to be very strange. I don't know when I'll, and how, I don't know when, I don't know when I'll be celebrating New Year's Eve this year. I don't know how. And, um, it's definitely going to be different. So yeah, a lot is happening. That was the last blouse. This is such a beautiful white one. It's now been fixed. And that was all four of the items. That was great. So now I can actually maybe organize. I actually I have a lot of organizing I would like to do in my living room soon. Like go through all of my storage in here. It might not be until, I don't know, January. <laughs> so when I say soon, with how fast time goes these days, it might be in January. So might do a January decluttering again this year or like next year I did that in January this year and you guys really seem to enjoy it and I loved clearing out and like deep cleaning everything it's really nice things to do once a year so yeah I hope that you found this to be chill I'm now actually going to go and get ready like fix my hair put on a bra put on some like, I don't know, I want to wear a dress today, I think. So, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will, you can have the 15% off. I'm going to put in the discount code again now. Um, to the web shop. Luna is just about to make some noise, I think. So, it's my cue to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. And um, being a constant support. And I can't wait for the upcoming video that's going to come by the end of this month. So, it's exciting times. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Gonna see you all soon. Bye.